There's no reason to think Tyreek Hill won't show up for training camp yet. He's taking a very serenity now, happy thoughts approach to his contract situation. We've reported, and it's basically been confirmed through the mouth of his agent, Drew Rosenhaus. They've been trying to get a new contract for Tyreek Hill for months. He got the new deal when he was traded by the Chiefs to the Dolphins a couple of years ago. And that deal has that fugazi, phony baloney, back-end, $45 million payment that drives the new money average from $25 million to $30 million. And when Hill talked about his situation recently, and again, it was all positive. I'm excited to see where I fit in the receiver contract structure. It just kind of implies and presumes that he's going to be given a new contract. There's no guarantee he's getting a new deal. And he mentioned the $30 million number. So either he's all in with the lie or he's been lied to because it's not 30 million. It's never been 30 million. And the only way it ever gets to 30 million is if the Dolphins pay him 45 million in 2026, non-guaranteed 45 million. That number was put in there to ensure that now, as Hills Camp would tell it, they were forced to redo the deal with one year left. Just just do a contract that expires after 2025 that forces them to do the deal before 26 make it a reasonable number in 25 and then it's either franchise tag or free agency after that so the dolphins with that big number that forced the new money average from 25 to 30 they are forced to deal with it and as i previously suggested i think what happens here or at least what the dolphins are inclined to do we'll see if they change their inclination i think they're inclined to move money around 19.8 is what he's due to make this year. You got the 45 in 2026. There's a way to take some of that money from 26 and move it to 24. Now, they could tack a phony year or two on the back end after that if they want to try to drive up the new money average. I, look, I, I don't know that they're willing to do that, and I don't know how necessary that is. If you couch it in terms of cash flow, if there's a way to make his cash flow this year and next year match the top receivers in the game. That's all that matters. Then you just change the analysis. You shift the definition of what the contract is. It's no longer about new money. It's about cash flow. That's what happened with Patrick Mahomes last year. His new money average continues to be a pathetically low 45 million. But after Joe Burrow got to 55 and had cash flow in the range of 52 per year for 23 through 26, Mahomes had his money reshuffled. So his cash flow was equivalent to roughly, almost, I think just about the same as Joe Burrow. That's one way to do it with Tyree Kill. But the bottom line is he's expecting something. And if he doesn't get something, what will he do about it? It would be a sharp turn. I think he's sensitive to the perception that he has traditionally been kind of a pain in the ass. And that's one of the reasons why the Chiefs were fine to trade him Oh, and they've won every Super Bowl that's been played since they traded him, which kind of vindicates the decision to move on from Tyree Kill. They win the Super Bowl in 2019 with him. They don't win it in 2020 or 21 with him. They've won every Super Bowl played since they moved on from him. And I don't think he wants to acquire that label of guy who gets passed around from team to team because he wants too much. He wants what he believes is fair. And at this point, when you consider the dynamics of the market, you could argue it's not fair. The real question for the Dolphins is, do they want to hold firm with the Tyreek Hill deal? And is the Jalen Waddle contract at $28.25 million in new money more than Hill? That's probably why Hill's saying 30. No, Hill's, Hill's behind Jalen Waddle. Are the Dolphins transitioning from Hill as number one to Waddle as number one? Only the Dolphins know that. But they've got to figure this out. Between Hill and Tua Tonga Bailoa, they got a couple of guys at a time when they don't have a whole lot of cap space laying around or lying around, they never really know. Do you have that same problem, lying or laying? And I always get it wrong. Whenever I look it up, it's like, yeah, I should have used the other one. Anyway, if they had extra cap space around, when in doubt, just leave it out. <laughs> if they've got that money, uh, the hell, they would have maybe had Christian Wilkins still on the team. Or worst case scenario, they could have franchise tagged him and traded him. They didn't have the cap money to do that. So they've got an issue. We got an issue. And of course, Dolphins fans get upset when we point it out because all fans of all teams would prefer everyone to say, 
this is great. You are great. And you might win the Super Bowl this year. There's nothing to be worried about at all. Don't fret about a thing. Your team is awesome. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.